Okay, so hello everybody. Welcome into the Bear's Den aphid farm where this week we are trying something different. We are taking sort of a natural yet biochemical approach to dealing with the, um, well, the rather persistent infestation of aphids that I seem to have on my pepper plants. Um, yeah. We're just, but before we take a look at what's growing on here and, and what I've been doing and what I'm about to do, I thought for the sake of terror, we would take a look outside the window and odds are pretty good. Most of you will afterwards appreciate the weather you have at home. So let's take a look out the studio window before uh, Shox gets going, doing her thing there. All right. So there is a look at our current weather conditions. For those of you who wonder why my gardening videos aren't yet outside, yeah, welcome to the channel. I live in Manitoba and it does this until like June. So. Yes, hopefully the camera is picking up the fact that there is snow not lazily drifting down, but kind of going straight across the window here. Not quite pepper season out there. Anyway, back to where it is pepper season, and I pretend there's a happy little garden. All right, so we headed into town yesterday, which is an adventure probably worth its own video, but I'm not going to get into that. Needless to say, if you're looking for a bit of amusement and you have to go to grocery stores anyway, check around and see the strange things that the shelves are empty of. I mean, I expected there to be no toilet paper or tissue, things like that. You know what? There was no flour at the grocery store in town. That, that threw me off a little bit. However, while visiting a hardware store, I found this green earth product. So, you know, I got suckered in by that whole green advertising thing. But when checking on the back, it does claim to actually deal with aphids and uh, be fairly safe for the household, which is good because Fuzzy's still sleeping in here. So obviously I gotta, you know, check the chemicals I go with, go with here. This is basically an insecticidal soap, right? So, so many people have recommended that I try using a soap. I tried homemade versions of it. It didn't work for me. I thought since this should be at the correct mixture levels, I'll just buy it. It was like eight bucks. Why not, right? If it can save me a few of my beloved pepper plants, then great. Now, speaking of those pepper plants, we, we see that things are progressing fairly well in spite of the aphid infestation. And I have been coming in here every couple to a few days. Granted, I haven't been doing it every second day, like I said, I was going to and I really want to. But we can see that taking them out pod by pod, I've got this little cup here on the side, I take them out one at a time so I know where they all go. So they're all in theory, still correctly labeled. You know, I've got my cherry bombs on the left here. Look at those puppies, eh? Okay, even though they desperately need a washing and they're gonna get hit with the spray today, they're still doing pretty well. I never got around to splitting these up. Um, I have pulled out a few of the weaker plants just to uh, give the rest of these a better go, really, under these current circumstances. You can see one here where I might have missed the smaller one that should be pulled out there. There are a few that I probably should try and transplant, like this one in the back. There's a couple of really nice plants there, right? And those cherry bomb peppers are, they're a good productive pepper. So if I can get both of those growing ultimately outside, then great. I got the largest cayenne ones here. And these ones here are the lemon habaneros from last year. But all in all, because they're still in the arrow garden, and this is why I haven't gotten around to transplanting them yet, really, I think. While they're still in the arrow garden, moving them in this little side party cup is so easy to do. And you can really take advantage of them just being in this little pod and you can get them under the tap pretty pretty well and like i say it's really done a pretty decent job of controlling these populations i'm hoping this insecticidal soap will take it to the next level but uh you know for now just washing them off has worked so that kind of is definitely a bonus to the arrow garden that I'm experiencing because regular viewers know aphids and I, we have a long-standing relationship and it's not a happy one, but we have it all the same. So the arrow garden is once again, helping me get ahead in this uh, so-called garden season that starts in June and ends like in July. Well, September really, but 
feels like July. Anyway, this little thing is doing its robotic garden bit, letting me know I need to add nutrients to this today. So that is fantastic, I will do that. Pretty simple, two capfuls into a watering jug, top it up, good to go. I love it, it's simple, and yeah, normally I don't get this kind of a success rate from planting my seeds, so don't believe me? Look at some old videos, the proof is right there. Under the corner light here, looking at an older pepper plant. This is the Bad Brains from last year, and it's accompanying oregano, which seems to be doing like the grapevine thing and kind of climbing up the branches, which is fun, unexpected. Um, this is definitely going to get soakered with that spray today, because you can see the aphid population has just whooped its hiney, even to the point where the spider plant beside it, they are just, I think those are probably carcasses i don't know i don't see too many of those white cases moving but uh, i don't want to look that close everything here is about to get sprayed the smaller bad brains pepper was kind of coming back and then this aphid situation is just kicking everything's butt the orange habanero here i got some new orange habanero seeds um because I'm trying to get new seeds for this year, right? But I just don't know if I'm gonna have time to get her growing. Got some mini bells too, which probably do half and half in the arrow garden when I do that. The aloe, you know, it's fairly sturdy. It's doing all right. And look at the base here. Hopefully we can see that. The oregano has decided to give life another try. So that is absolutely fantastic. And I am really having a lot of fun with this adding oregano to random other plants around the house. You can never have too many herbs when you're, you know, well, when you cook like we do, we, we throw green stuff into all kinds of food around here and uh, feel pretty good about it. So yes, the oregano, I'm gonna try and get some parsley growing around everywhere. Anyway, back to peppers. We got the bootless scorpion in the background here. All in all, we did get a nice flush of regrowth, but unfortunately, it is just covered with aphids as well. So again, it's gonna get soakered, just like the butch tea, uh, red Trinidad scorpion cross beside it. Yeah, and the Bula clamshell, I don't think it made it. In fact, I'm pretty sure it did not make it. But these things happen, you know, it's been a rough, Rough start to the spring this year for some reason. I just don't know why the aphids came, but I do know that the carpet's going pretty much as soon as the plants move outside. In amongst the party cup peppers here, we have a lot of MA faces that have survived, but I did notice in the back here, we do still have one of the chocolate Carolina Reapers and one of the Trinidad beans. That one in the very back is a Trinidad bean, so hopefully we'll still get some variety going on this year. I don't know though, this, is, this has been a rough start. And I do have another flush of uh, pepper seeds I want to get going, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know! I gotta spray these plants though. Alright. Alright, so while I don't necessarily see any of those sap suckers on this, it is just a soap. So I am given Everything, even the aloe, is getting sprayed here. It is nice to know that a few plants do seem to be immune to this menace. But, uh, tragically, the pepper plants I love so much, not on that list. I'll give it to, what is this, Green Earth, for the quality of the spray bottle here. It's a, a very fine mist and shooting upward to get under the leaves doesn't seem to be too much of a problem for it, so that's actually quite nice. Move that off to the side. Let's see if we can get one of these big boys out and on camera. Hello, bootless scorpion. Oh, I love this pepper. Maybe lift this up a bit. Ho, ho, ho. So, I'm really hoping to get this thing outside in, well, a couple months, March, so April, May, June 1st is usually safe. Because once the natural predator insects find this thing, she's going to be clean. I have no question of that. I'm um, going to get the surface of the soil anyway. I'm trying to water these from the bottom. That's why everything's got trays now. 
but I see aphids on the top, so I'm squirting the aphids on the top. We just don't need them hanging about. Um, switch. That's pretty light though, so speaking of watering, I guess I need to do a little bit of that before I wander out of here today. Get this Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Red. I have to admit, I am amazed I've been able to keep some of these plants alive this long. Oh, I should get the surface here too. So it really would be kind of a tragedy in my world to lose them this relatively close to the outdoor gardening season. So I'm pretty hopeful that this is going to be able to keep the situation a little more in control. And in theory, it's just soap, right? So shouldn't be doing too much damage to anything else going on as far as biology in the soil. Oops, get the top there. And then I just need to spray like a madman. Pivot and pan up. Squeaky tripod. But this thing is covered. Hit the spider plant beside it. Should have protected the books, but you know what? They've probably got aphids on them at this point too. So for those of you who are wondering, I'm not doing anything like this with the garden downstairs because aphids are fish food and that still continues to work for me as a theory. So we'll see how this uh, insecticidal soap does over the next couple of weeks. I am going to come here with uh, spray bottles of just plain water in, I don't know, a couple of days just to kind of clean off the leaves. They have to be able to breathe, as it were, transpire through those leaves. So we don't want them getting all clogged up and, stuch, and such. Stutch. But um, yeah, we need to get rid of the aphids. On a more personal, you know, me to you kind of note, while everything is as crazy as it, as it is out there in the world right now, I hope that you are all healthy. I hope that you are all safe. I hope that you are all doing your part to help others and not contribute to the mass hysteria and the panic that is going on out there. You know, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, yeah, we'll all be back here next week. So much love. Like I say, please take care of yourselves. Do not contribute to the panic and the hysteria. All right, much love, everybody.